The forgot password function allows the application users to reset their password if they forget their account password. If a web application doesn't have a secure forgot password function, this would allow an attacker to reset the application user's password and take over their account. During this video, we look at this scenario in action. For the purpose of this video, we use a lab from Web Security Academy called Password Reset Broken Logic, and you can find the link to this lab in the video description. To solve this lab, we need to change the password of a victim user called Carlos via the application forgot password function and login into his account. Alright, let's jump in and get started by clicking on access the lab. From top of the application homepage, we click on my account. As we see, the application users need to provide their valid credentials to access their account. We already have a valid set of credentials from the lab description, but since our goal is to identify the vulnerability in the forgot password function, rather than logging into our account, we click on forgot password link. Alright, as we see, the application users need to submit the username or email address to request the password reset link. We enter our account username and submit the request. It seems the application has sent the reset password link to our email. To access our email, we click on email client on top of this page. So the application has sent us the password reset link. Looking at this link, we can see the link contains a URL parameter called temp forgot password token. When the web applications receive a forgot password request, they normally generate a link containing a token and they use this token to identify which user is trying to reset his account password. So far, everything seems fine. Let's go ahead and click on this link. As we see, we have been redirected to a page where we can set the new password for our account. First, we turn on Burp Intercept, then choose a new password, and finally submit the request. In Burp, we see the HTTP post request for setting the new password for our account. We notice the forgot password token in two places, in the URL parameter and also in the body of the request. We also notice the username parameter in the body of the request, and as we see the value of this parameter is our username. This seems a bit weird, why the request contain the username? In a normal scenario, the application should only contain the forgot password token, but that's not the case here. So maybe the application is using the username value to identify which user is trying to reset his password. We highlight this request so we can find it quicker when we want to investigate this issue. But for now, we don't make any changes and forward the request. In the application response, we get a redirection to the application homepage, which is a sign that our password has been reset successfully. To confirm that our password is changed, let's quickly head over to the login page in the web browser to see if we can log in into our account using the new password. So in the login page, we provide the username and the new password that we just set and click on login. As we see, we could log in into our account using the new password. Now that we have reviewed the forgot password function, let's log out of our account then we go to Burp HTTP history to find the forgot password HTTP post request. We right click on this request and choose send to repeater. We are interested to see how the application identifies the user when it receives the password reset request. Since the request contains the username in the body of the request, there is a chance that the application is actually using the username value rather than the forgot password token to check which user is trying to reset his password. To see if our assumption is correct, we remove the value of the password reset token from the URL parameter and also from the body of the request. We also change the password to a new password. Now that we have removed the token and we have set a new password, we go ahead and send the request. We get a redirection to the homepage of the application which is a sign that we managed to reset our account password without a valid password reset token. To quickly confirm that we could manage to reset the password without a valid password reset token, we head over to the login page in the web browser to check if we can log in into our account using the new password that we just set. 
So we fill out the username and password fields with our account username and the new password, then proceed to hit the login. As we see, we could log in into our account. So we know although the application generates a token, when it receives the forgot password request, it doesn't check the token value when the user submit the new password request and it only checks the username parameter value to check which user is trying to reset his account password. As a result, if we change the username value to another user of the application, we should be able to reset his password. Alright, let's go back to the burp repeater. As we remember, the goal in this lab is to reset the password of a victim user called Carlos. So in the body of the request, we change the value of the username to Carlos and let's set his new password to my pass. Now that everything is set, let's go ahead and send the request. We have been redirected to the application homepage and we didn't encounter any error. This probably means that we have successfully reset Carlos account password. Once again, we head over to the login page in the web browser to check if we can log in into Carlos account. So we fill out the username and password with Carlos and the password that we just set, which is my pass. Then we hit login. As we see, we could successfully reset Carlos password and log in into his account. During this video, we saw how insecure implementation of the forgot password function would allow an attacker to target the application users to reset their password and take over their account. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a like and if you want to see more videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel as I upload new videos every week.